Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. This episode is going to address foreskin questions that I've received. First question. How do you clean under your foreskin if you have phimosis? Phimosis is going to be a tight foreskin opening such that it makes it very difficult for the individual to retract the foreskin over the head of the penis. If you have phimosis, cleaning under the foreskin will be difficult. You don't want to force any soap underneath the foreskin because having it sit there can actually cause irritation and make things really painful and worse. So what I would recommend is really addressing the phimosis with your provider. Um, but don't panic. It's nothing to be concerned about immediately, but going forward, it will be good to talk with your doctor about that phimosis and regular stretching so that you can clean under your foreskin effectively and keep your penis healthy. Question number two. I can only pull my foreskin back when my dick is soft, but not at all when I have a hard-on. It actually hurts a bit whenever a girl tries to pull it back, and I have never jerked off with my foreskin pulling back. Sex has been very uncomfortable. What do I do? Ouch! That's tough. And the first thing I would do is talk to your partner about what feels good and what does not feel good. So we're just gonna start there. It is okay, it is great for a partnership to be able to communicate about what things feel good and what don't when you're being intimate. So first and foremost, tell your partner because that can ruin the intimacy very quickly when something hurts, okay? The second thing I would suggest is it's a good sign that you can already pull back your foreskin when you are not erect. That means that you have some degree of stretch with the foreskin, but with erection, there is increased blood and girth and length of the penis, which means that it may be more difficult for that foreskin opening to stretch. So you could do a few things. First, work on doing some gentle stretching on your own whether that is while you are masturbating or whether you are in the shower with an erection. Um, but gently, just gently, try to work to get that foreskin to stretch a little bit more on your own. If you're masturbating, you can use lube to sort of help with that. If you still have a hard time doing that, talk to your doctor and we can give you a topical steroid that will loosen up the skin and make stretching the foreskin a little bit easier. But that's what I would recommend, especially if sex is painful. There's really no way forward with this except for making sure we can stretch out that foreskin and help you retract it when you have an erection. But the sooner you address it, the more pleasurable sex will be. So it'll be worth it. Question number three. I'm 18 and uncircumcised, but my foreskin doesn't go down all the way. It barely goes halfway. Is this okay? Okay. So I think what you're asking is that your foreskin either, well, it could be a few different things. And so it's tough for me to say without an exam, but if it's that your foreskin doesn't completely cover the head of your penis, that's okay. Some individuals are born with varying degrees of foreskin and it may just be that you don't have a whole lot of foreskin and it doesn't cover the head of the penis. What you also may be saying is that when you retract your foreskin, it does not pull back all the way. And there would be a couple of things that that could be as well. So the first thing I'm thinking is that maybe that's it. You know, that might be just what's good for your foreskin. Um, if you are able to retract the foreskin and it looks flush with the rest of the skin of the shaft of your penis, so like you don't have any folds in there, that might just be your natural foreskin. 
and that's okay. It just doesn't sound like you have a lot of extra foreskin. If what you're saying is that you're unable to retract it all the way because the foreskin gets stuck halfway, that might mean that you have a penis that has a little bit of a wider base and a narrower tip. And so you reach a point where it kind of gets stuck. And that would be a very mild case of phimosis, which could be completely fine if you're able to still clean underneath the foreskin with soap and water and get it all washed out. If you're unable to, then it might be worth working on some stretching for yourself uh, or talking to a doctor about how to stretch that out a little bit more. But there are a few different possibilities here with the way you asked the question. So I hope I answered all possible scenarios. If not, let me know. All right, question number four. I struggle with condoms because I have foreskin. I do as it says, which is to pull it back. But when I pull it back and put the condom over, the foreskin keeps moving itself back and makes the condom all messed up and crumpled. Okay, so here's my tip for those who have a little bit extra foreskin and it doesn't stay retracted the whole way during sex or masturbation. What you can do is put a little extra, just a drop of lube in the tip of the condom and then put the condom on, so roll the condom on, and then there should be enough lube to make this comfortable, but try to just work up and down, so go back and forth a little bit on the, I'm sorry, this is the this is what you need to do, um, but go up and down a little bit on the, the condom, so working up sort of the foreskin into the condom itself, and that will allow the foreskin to move within the condom a little bit more freely, make it a little bit more lubricated and gentle on your foreskin and hopefully prevent then some of that bunching up of the foreskin at the base of the penis and pushing off the condom. So try to actually get some of the foreskin within the condom. And again, using that lube to sort of milk up the foreskin into the condom. So that could be as simple as you put on your condom, give yourself a few rubs, and then you can proceed with your intimacy. All right. Question number five. How is sex different for men with foreskin? So this is a very hot and heated topic. First of all, the foreskin should naturally retract with erection. And so most of the time, an erect penis should look similar for those who are circumcised or uncircumcised. Many individuals with foreskin will have some extra foreskin at the base of the penis, and that's totally fine, like we were just talking about in that previous question. But for the most part, when someone gets an erection, the foreskin should retract itself and look very similar between a circumcised and an uncircumcised penis. Then the tricky part comes with some of the issues that we've talked about. So tight foreskin, phimosis, which can cause painful erections if you're not able to retract that foreskin. Um, and the other thing that can happen is that extra foreskin, again, like we talked about, but those are kind of it. Um, so then the question comes to condom application. Like I mentioned before, you only put on a condom on an erect penis. And so generally speaking, there isn't a whole lot of difference between the two. It might be beneficial to use a little extra lube for those with foreskin so that the foreskin can move a little bit more comfortably within the condom uh, for those with a little extra foreskin, but condom application the same for an erect penis. And then, which may be what you're asking about, is sensation. So it is very well known that foreskin has nerve endings. So Having extra nerve endings of the foreskin is, is a fact. There is some debate on whether those with foreskin actually experience enhanced sexual pleasure because of those extra nerve endings. There are some studies that show both ways, but it's still, the jury's still out on whether that's completely the case. But generally speaking, the foreskin does have extra nerve endings, and so if you do have foreskin, sometimes that can be an extra area for foreplay or sexual pleasure. And then 
it's it's pretty well understood that the uncircumcised penis because it is at baseline protected from friction so rubbing on underwear or pants um, it's protected with that layer of foreskin from other stimulation that the penis itself does tend to be a little bit more sensitive than uh, an individual who has a circumcised penis and just because it doesn't have that extra layer of protection over it at baseline but when it comes to sexual intercourse and intimacy most studies do not find any major difference between circumcised and uncircumcised penises and time to ejaculation so the sensitivity issue yes to touch might feel a little bit more sensitive the uncircumcised penis but when it comes to sexual intimacy and actual penetration of the penis into vagina anus mouth the time to orgasm is pretty similar between the two so that's it there's really not a whole lot to um, worry about or misunderstand most foreskin just takes care of itself so um, that's what we know about the foreskin and intimacy and I hope I answered some of your questions if you have more let me know and remember if you have a question for Ask Dr. T you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.